thrilled. Happy birthday. <laughs> uh, no, it was a, a huge game for us. We've had all week to prepare for it. And, you know, I'm just so proud of the effort that the team put in. And uh, they came out firing. And to be able to shut a quality team like that, it's uh, really impressive. I'm just incredibly proud of this team right now. And it's the second win this season against a top 10 team and a top 10 Big East team, which is a powerhouse in field hockey. Talk a little bit about how much it means as it's for this team and as for pro, for the program. Itself. Yeah, no, it, it's uh, it really proves when you can play against the UConn and the Syracuse that we can play at that level, and we've we've been able to put together some great passages of field hockey. Uh, and at the same time, we got to keep learning lessons because when we play other teams, we we don't come out as strong, or we're fired up, or we're not as sharp on on the ball, or sticking to the game plan. So, you know, as we go forward into the A10s, we've got to take moments like these and make sure that. You you, you play at that intensity and that level no matter who the opponent. So a lot of lessons learned, just a fabulous game, and now it's for the Atlantic 10. You talked a little bit the other day about how Syracuse is a team that puts pressure on you, but you guys seem to put a lot of pressure on them today. You controlled the play for a lot of the game. How did you manage to do that against the tough team? Yeah, it was just we were, you know, we constantly said to them, win the battle, and when we had the ball, we were trying to get in front of their players because uh, most games they all step in front and, and pick off the ball time and time again, but we, we stepped in front, we competed, we contested those 50-50 balls, and then just in the course or the flow of the game, we did come up with a lot of plays, so I think our defensive organization Organization, our communication, we were all there on key as, a, as an entire team. So uh, we definitely generated a lot of attack. Uh, we probably should have put a few more on the board, uh, but the composure of Molly McDonnell, the second goal was very impressive and, and we should take a lot of confidence moving into the Atlantic 10 conference play. It's really awesome. It's a huge win for um, our program, beating Syracuse and UConn, where I know um, two of the goals of the four captains. So for us to be able to beat them and beat them 2-0, uh, it's really just amazing. Now, uh, is it, you just try to continue this momentum and carry it into conference play with that right around the corner? Yeah, we considered Syracuse a big game, so we had a lot of momentum going into the game, but uh, our focus now is to realize that every game from here on out is a big game because if we, if we don't come uh, ready to play, it could be detrimental for us in the tournament, so we need to come out with the same momentum we came today and just carry it on through the A-10s. Molly McDonnell with a goal today. Talk a little bit about the, the young forward line in front of you and how they've developed. Uh, this is past week in practice, especially um, from the beginning, we've been working on them getting quick goal shots off, getting into the goal scoring positions, and just really having more awareness in the circle. And that's been our strong focus this past week in practice. And I think all of the young freshman forwards have made a commitment this week in practice to really improve, and it showed in today's game. And hopefully, we can carry that into the A10s as well. Um, first of all, thank you. I'm just so excited and pumped that. Everything fell together from this week's practicing, and our defense like put everything out on the line to keep the ball out of the net. I try to keep my feet as much as possible, and in past years they've scored early on, so I was expecting them to come out very hard and putting everything, everything, everything I had to stop the ball. You had 11 saves today, most of them in pretty dramatic fashion, a lot of diving all over the place. Um, probably one of the better games of your career, and. How about that, that penalty stroke there towards the end of the game? It was definitely very nerve-wracking. Um, I try to stay composed as much as possible. Um, but at this kind of level, <laughs> it's hard. You pretty much have to pick a side and dive. And 